See? Not a scratch on it. Neither is this. <laughs> For you. Ever wondered how Van Damme got his leading role in Bloodsport? Or have you heard the story of Van Damme knocking out one of his co-stars? Or did you know that the writer always suspected that the story of Bloodsport was a figment of Frank Duke's imagination? Well, buckle up, because we're about to unravel nine mind-blowing tales or facts about Bloodsport. Okay, Dukes, you know why we're here. Taking you back, Frank. Let's go. Only when the committee is over. Who the hell are these two scumbags? So let's get started with the studio's first choice to play the lead role. So the character of Frank Dukes was originally supposed to be played by actor Michael Dudikoff, who was thought to be the rising action star of the time after starring in the hit American Ninja. The filmmakers behind Bloodsport apparently passed on Dudikoff because they wanted a real martial artist who could do his own fight scenes. <laughs> Now the movie was shelved for two years after filming was completed because Menahem Golan didn't like it and thought the movie was terrible. But thankfully, instead of letting it languish, Golan let in-house editor Michael J. Duthi to edit the movie. He was assisted by Van Damme himself. Screenwriter Sheldon Ledich first met the real-life Dukes when his agent needed help cutting down Dukes' unpublished Vietnam War novel, The Last Rainbow. Ledich recalled in an interview, We just kind of hit it off. Frank told me a lot of tall tales, most of which turned out to be bullshit. Yet, his stories about participating in this so-called kumite event sounded like a great idea for a movie. Now, while the main characters of Bloodsport are martial artists like Van Damme and Bolo Jung, the production wanted the Kumite to be as authentic as possible. So they hired more real-life martial artists to fight alongside Van Damme. For instance, Paolo Tocha, who plays the Muay Thai fighter Paco, is a real-life Muay Thai expert and one of the first Westerners to train in the martial art. Michelle Chissi, who played kickboxer Swan Paredes, was a boxer with some karate experience due to training with his friend Van Damme, who trained at the Shotokan Karate Dojo above his boxing club in Belgium. On a little side note, the flashback sequence where we see one of the best training montages of the 80s lasts slightly under 11 minutes, making it the longest flashback scene in any film to date. Did you know that Bloodsport reunited two of the Enter the Dragon cast, off-camera at least? Actors Roy Chiao and Bolo Jung, who both appeared in Bruce Lee's classic Enter the Dragon. Ironically, both actors played the identical roles as they did in that film, with Chiao as a sensei to Bruce Lee's and Van Damme's characters, and Bolo Jung as the villain. Bloodsport has gathered millions of fans around the globe since it debuted, way back in 1988. But did you know? that the former US President Trump views it as one of his favorite movies? It's true, Donald J. Trump is a fan of Bloodsport for a long time. In a 1997 interview, he admitted he was loving this ridiculous Jean-Claude Van Damme movie. Now, there are several stories about how Jean-Claude Van Damme landed the lead. A young Van Damme allegedly spotted Canon Films head Menahem Golan outside a restaurant and showed off his moves by doing his signature high kick in front of Golan's face. Golan reportedly gave Van Damme his card and told him to meet him at his office the next day. His best friend at the time, Michel Kissy, has refuted the above claims and said there was no high kick in front of Golan, but instead, Golan was misled to believe Van Damme was the co-star next to Arnold Schwarzenegger in the big screen production Predator. This made Golan believe Van Damme was a star in the making and offer him the lead. In a 1987 interview, 
The muscles from Brussels said he got the gig by calling Canon Films and lying by saying he was a personal friend that had a meeting with Golan. The exec's curiosity was piqued and Van Damme said, I did my split, I showed my muscles, I said, I'm the best and I'm not too expensive right now, which got him the part. Which story do you think is true? Moving on, during a fight scene, Frank believes the match is over, leaving himself open to an attack from behind. Before his opponent Hossein has a chance, Frank responds with a reverse elbow that catches him off guard. In reality, Van Damme's elbow actually struck the face of actor Bernard Mariano, knocking him out. The footage was left in the final cut, clearly showing the elbow connect with Mariano's face. And there you have it, nine mind-blowing tales or facts about Bloodsport.